Hey my friends, so today I'm back with another tutorial using the PE Design software Next. And I want to talk to you about the importance of underlay, the thread that is going to be stitching out before the actual satin stitch. And here I have a really nice monogram, stacked monogram for one of the diaper bags and the initials are extremely wide for the satin stitch. And so if I don't have the underlay or the under sewing under here, there might be a little bit of gapping and I really don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all those layers. Okay and show you what it's going to look like. Now, the underlay stitching sets a the groundwork. It's kind of like the foundation for your satin stitches. And it really is beneficial on wide fonts that you have, as well as your fabric. And it can be beneficial for towels and plush items that you might be putting initials on or even doing um, like an applique or something like that. So don't skip the, the underlay on your designs because it really is a crucial part of your overall finished product. So as it finishes stitching out on the demo, I'm going to be putting it on my machine and actually showing you the benefit of having it stitch out um, on the diaper bag. Now my diaper bags are fairly thick because I also have a quilt batting between the two layers of the flap. So this will help get those layers really nice and snug against each other and I won't have any problems with the rest of the design. I just had to listen to that one more time. I just love the sound of embroidery and it stitching out so smoothly. I mean, don't you? All right, guys, it's done. Looks really good. And I can do this and I don't have any gapping or pulling because I did the underlay stitch. Here's what the back looks like. Really good. I don't have any loose threads on the back. So now all I have to do is remove the pins and then remove the backing, the stabilizer from the back of the from the diaper bag and then I'm done. Thank you all so much. Sorry I had to do this on my phone. My video camera decided to record in increments of 10 seconds and that was just not long enough for me to do what I needed to do. So I love you guys and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!